I'm pleased to invite Ron to offer remarks on behalf of the class of 2019. Thank you, Provost Megelstorff, for that kind introduction. Before I begin, I have one promise I have to fulfill. Exactly two years ago, I was sitting in this stadium, right over there, can't really see it. But when that year's senior class president was speaking, my mom tapped my shoulder and said, hey Ron, if you ever do this, you better thank me. <laughs> At the time, I rolled my eyes and said, Mom, I will never speak at commencement. But as JJ said, follow your dreams. So Mom, here it is. Thank you. I would be nowhere without yours and Dad's support. But I'm also a little concerned about what else you may know about my future. So now I'm supposed to tell you how with this degree, you will change the world. And likely, many of you will. But I wanna take this time to talk about something a little bit different. Something everyone in this stadium can do. And that's being real. To take your mask off. At the start of my senior year, Everything was going really well, and I was so excited to be back on campus. The anxiety I had struggled with in high school, I'd overcome. It was under control. I was nominated by UW for the Rhodes Scholarship, president of three organizations, and had a clear idea of who I was and where I stood in the world. When friends would ask, how I did it all, I would just smile. But secretly, I enjoyed the comment. It showed that I had my life together. Yet, things began to unravel. I received the news that I didn't receive the roads. Then came a job rejection, a scholarship rejection, and the bad news kept coming in. My future was unknown, and that scared me. I felt a growing sense of anxiety within me, but refused to admit it. Because to admit that my anxiety would be getting worse would be admitting weakness, and I refused to ask for help. On the outside, I acted like I had everything together. I was wearing a mask that said everything in my life was perfect, but on the inside, I was drowning. I'd go through my day, lead the meetings I had to lead, and do it all with a smile. But I still didn't ask for help. Things got so bad that one day I questioned if my own life was worth living. And as hard as it is to admit it today, if it weren't for my Christian faith and my amazing friends and family, I don't know if I'd be here today. It came to a breaking point. The fake everything is okay mask I was wearing was suffocating me. I broke down in front of one of my best friends. I shared how the thoughts of suicide terrified me. I was weak, vulnerable, and broken. But for the first time in a long time, I was real. It was me. The guy who always advocated for mental health care to others, who dedicated his entire thesis to it, finally admitted that he himself needed it. And a funny thing happened. After I was real with my friend and shared my struggles, I started to feel better. Together, we sought mental health counseling. We didn't, 
thank you. <laughs> we didn't improve overnight, but we did improve. Through this simple act of being real and sharing my struggles with those around me proved to make all the difference. I began to learn more about myself as my thoughts began freed from anxiety's grip. Of the things I learned about myself, one stands out. And not everything I learned was simple. But although this was a very difficult conclusion to come to, in the past semester, I realized I'm bisexual. And identity <laughs> an identity that terrified me these past six months. But through being real and embracing myself, I could share with 50,000 people. <laughs> Thank you. It wasn't easy, but it was real. And it was me. I now hope to serve as a mental health advocate for those who have their voice taken away, for those who haven't made it to the other side yet to serve them. Looking back, I've realized a couple of things. I realized that in my despair, I found hope. In being real, I found myself. And in my weakness, I found strength. But enough about me. Let's talk about you, the class of 2019. <laughs> We all have our struggles. It's what makes us human. You might have gotten rejected from the dream grad school, or maybe you didn't get the job you so richly deserved. No matter your situation, there's one thing you can do that'll make everything just a little bit easier, and that's to be real. Put the mask down. In a world inundated with social media posts where we can always paint our lives to be perfect, I encourage you to be different. To make the decision each day to put your mask down, wipe that fake smile off your face, and be real. Maybe talk to your friends about all the job rejections you had before posting on LinkedIn about how blessed and excited you are to start the one job that actually worked out. <laughs> and again, friends, it isn't easy, but let me tell you, it is so worth it. In the words of the Canadian writer, Atticus Poetry, the hardest step we must all take is to blindly trust in who we are. Because in the end, our scars, our struggles, our insecurities have made us into who we are today. The world doesn't need a cheap plastic mask version of yourself. It needs the real, authentic version of you. The real you. So, University of Wisconsin-Madison, class of 2019. Let's show the world what it's like to be real, because that's one way we can change this world. Thank you. <laughs>